Hello, this is Reagan and Sean. Today, we will be exploring Google Classroom rubrics. It's a feature of Google Classroom that can be used to grade and give feedback easier than ever before. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Google Classroom rubrics. Hey guys, we're gonna go over adding rubrics to assignments in Google Classroom. First, you wanna make sure that you are using the correct Google Classroom you wanna make that rubric for. Right now I'm using the test one. You're gonna to go to the assignment that you wanna add a rubric to. Right now, um, this is gonna be my rubric test. You're gonna to go to either edit assignment or when you create it, you'll see on the right hand side here, you have different options, such as what class it's for, what kind of students, points, due date. Um, you'll see the option here that says a rubric. There's three options, it says create rubric, reuse rubric, or import from sheets. We're gonna focus on creating rubrics. Once you have rubrics created, such as ones for TDA or DBQs, you can then reuse that rubric for any assignment or any class. But we're gonna assume that you have never created one before, and we're gonna focus on creating rubrics. When you hit create, it's going to give you um, an option like this, and it's going to ask you for different categories to set up. So the first thing you want to do is set up your criterion title. What that means is that you want to create your subcategories. So let's say you're doing, for example, I use it for, D, for DBQs, and one of the areas is going to be evidence. And they need to provide for four pieces of evidence. That's, the, that, that's your description of how they're being graded for this. Under here are the different categories. So how they're being graded, let's say it's worth 20 points for this category. So you'll get five, you'll get zero points. This will be no evidence in the description. So if you have no piece of evidence, you have a zero. If you provide one piece of evidence, you get five points. If you have two pieces of evidence, you get 10 points, 15 points for three pieces, and 20 points for four pieces. So when you go and grade this, um, you'll be able to then score um, them accordingly to what they have here. You will then do the same thing for any additional categories. Let's say another category we have is spelling, which I know I used to. And obviously in the description, you will describe, you'll get points for spelling, grammar, and punctuation. And you can assign this, let's uh, say zero points, level title is gonna be unsatisfactory if you wanted to. And the description, let's say it's three points for needs improvement because it did okay, but didn't, did they have some errors. Let's say it's five points for perfect. So in here, you'll score them as out of a total of five points and you know zero for you know many errors, three for needs improvement, and five for perfect. And you'll see that as you go ahead and you um, add different categories, it will then total your points up here. And you'll just keep doing that till you're finished, and then you will hit save. When you hit save, you will then have the rubric um, add this as assignment here. So when students open it, they will see this rubric and how they will be scored. And once this is saved, you will then be able to import these rubrics to use for future assignments. You will see that in the rubric test that we just have here that is attached now to the video. Let's say I have another future assignment here that I wanna reuse this rubric for. And here, instead of going to add rubric and create, you will click on reuse and you'll see the rubric that I just created here, rubric test. You will click on this, but I also have ones for DBQ and for another sample one for TDAs. Rubric test, you'll click on this. You can hit a preview. You can see the ones we just added here with the evidence and spelling, or you can select and edit it, or if this one is good, you can hit select, and it will then automatically add that pre-made rubric to this assignment. So once you have created the rubrics, you can then reuse them for any assignment that you want, which makes life very easy. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. 
Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.